This is Easy Solar Generation 2 from Victron Energy. Basically, you have three devices already built in the same case. You just need to add solar modules, add battery connected to the grid, connected to the Wi-Fi, and you will have a fully Victron setup. But about this, we're gonna talk in the next video. So let's get started. Welcome back to CS Tech, I'm Claudio. First of all, my short disclaimer, I'm not a native English speaker, so don't hate me. If I misspell something, I will try my best. So let's get back to Easy Solar Generation 2 from Victron. For those who decide to enter in the Victron family and they want a device that's its only one, it's ready to work, it's ready to install and easy to install, they need to buy an Easy Solar Generation 2. It's Generation 2 because a few years ago, Generation 1 was available, now Generation 2 it's on the market. And as you can see, I have one of this device here in the studio of course it's the smallest device from their family because they are three version one on 24 volts and two on 48 volts but we're gonna talk about them later now let me explain you what devices it's already built in over here and let me make a small overview about how victron system work first of all we're gonna start with a brain because each victron system needs a brain the brain it's a unit the unit is named jx as you can see over here this is venus jx i have a color control jx and also i have Chervo JX and the latest one from the market is oops, it's Ecrano JX. All these devices make the same thing, receive information from various sensors, various system from Victron, put them on the same app and of course broadcast them to your mobile app, to, to Victron VRM portal and from there you can see the production, you can see the graph, you can see the consumption and you can enjoy the entire Victron ecosystem. So, we figured it out. This is the first unit that it's already built in. The JX unit, it's already installed over here. The second unit that it's a component from Victron system, it's an MPPT. MPPT basically it's a DC converter. You can connect over here the solar module. As you can see over here, I have an MPPT that has M MC4 connection. You just need to connect the solar string over here and you have an output. Output, it's battery and go to the battery side. And of course you have the communication port. Here, there are two options, VA, VA direct and VA can. So basically the MPPT is already built in, but please keep in mind it's a full size MPPT inside over here. I will make a, what's inside video next. But it's a full MPPT over here. It depends on the inverter capacity. There are two versions of MPPT. It's 250 volts by 70 or 100 amps. That 70 and that 100 represent the amps that is drained from the solar module and put into the battery. And of course, the third unit that you need that need to, to be installed in a system to be a fully Victron system, it's an inverter. An inverter is basically a DC to AC converter. It's the unit that receives energy from the sun and receives energy from the battery and convert it to your normal energy, 220 or 230 uh, AC voltage. So in this unit, you have all these three devices connected, pre-wired, ready to use. You just need to add battery, you need to add solar module, you need to connect it to the grid, and of course you need to connect it to Wi-Fi. You have two options, connect it to Wi-Fi, and of course you have an option to connect to Wi-Fi via cable. I recommend you use cable, and I'm gonna explain you later why. Okay, let's talk about exterior. As you can see, it looks like an inverter. It's a little bit heavy, and as you can see, it's very thicker over here. And on the front, you have a display. This display, it's a... Uh, a monochrome display is not a color display like uh, color control has over here or Cherbo or Ecrano has. Over here you have a button, once you push over here you will scroll to menus, you can see the battery, you can see the production and also you can see uh, all information from your inverter. These are just few information, the rest of the information are broadcasted to your mobile app. You have VRM app and you can see over here, over there, everything from your system and of course you can see the same information in your VRM portal online. Okay, this is the unit on exterior. Basically, if you decide to buy the small unit or the big unit, they, you can see they have different sizes and they are very, very heavy. On the bottom, let me put over here and you just remove this cover and you have the connection because it's an easy solar, it's easy to install and I will explain you why. As you can see over here, you have a positive and negative wire in order to connect the MPPT, the power from the string. Basically, if you check the MPPT, this one has 250 
and 17 apps. Basically, you just need to connect over here strings that has a maximum voltage around 200 volts. You can connect around four strings in parallel and bring them to this connection point and this will be the solar that come into the inverter. So it's easy to install the solar module over here. On the bottom you have a button that has three position, one, zero, two. I think I will gonna explain in the next video what this position do. Basically position one it's inverter to be on and invert energy, so receive energy from the sun and give it to the AC. And position two will charge only the battery, will not deliver energy from inverter. Also on the bottom over here, let me move to my second camera. You have the battery connection over here. You just put negative and positive directly from the battery. You have over here some connection points. It's just a normal in and out uh, interface from uh, each Victron basically. This is a multi plus uh, two inverter inside. So this is our relay, auxiliary relay. You have a jumper that act as a safety switch. You can put uh, a safety switch over here. You have the voltage in, voltage out. Basically you have the same input and output on the same, like the same inverter. Okay, the next thing uh, that you can find over here, it's a VA bus connection. As you can see over here, you have the possibility to upgrade your system because if you decide to buy one of these units and later you decide you need more power, you just need to buy another inverter, you just need to buy the inverter, you don't need to buy another controller, another MPPT, just buy an inverter connected over here on AC and also make it communicate with each other and your JX device will know that you have doubled your power. Of course, if you decide to make a three-phase devices, you just need an easy solar as a master and of course you need phase two and phase three as a separate inverter. And in the last, I'm gonna show you, you have an AC in and AC out. Basically, each inverter from Victron Energy has one input from the grid and has two output. The first output is fully backup output. Basically, you need to connect the entire house to uh, output one, it's AC out one. Everything that is power from over there can drain energy from the sun, can drain energy from the battery, and when the grid is disconnected, that output will be anytime power from battery and from the sun. And also you have output number two. Output number two is specially made for high consumption devices like heat pump boilers. That output will be will receive energy when the grid is connected anytime from the sun. So basically you have sun outside, you have the grid, you have a boiler connected to AC2. The Victron will know and will deliver energy also to the boiler to receive energy from the sun. But in case the grid is down, the AC output 2 will be shut down. So you will receive energy only on output 1. It's super okay in this way because I want my boiler, my electric car or maybe my heat pump to be switched off when I'm on the batteries because my battery has only 5 kilowatts hour and I want to last as long as possible for my loads in my home, for my fridge, for my TV and even for my internet to scroll on TikTok. So this is AC in and AC out. Regarding another connection point, uh, ports, as you can see over here, this is... Let me, bring this one because it's more intuitive. As you can see over here, this is an old JX device. It has some ports on the back. It have VA bus, it have VA CAN, it, have, it has a USB and also network. The same ports are available on this Easy Solar. And as you can see over here, you have uh, the V uh, direct port that give you possibility to add another MPPT. For example, if you have three MPPT, don't worry, you can connect it via VECAN because you have two VECAN ports. Basically, make a daisy chain between inverters, and the last one will connect uh, daisy chain between MPPTs, and the last one will connect to the inverter. And of course, you have also a USB port, and USB port give you possibility to add a modem, add a, I don't know, tank sensor, or maybe you can add a USB switch, and you can add over there many uh, USB devices in order to be seen in the same interface from Victron Energy. And of course, in the last, you have the network cable that give you possibility to connect the inverter to the network via cable. I strongly recommend you to connect via cable because sometimes when you decide to install this inverter in the technical room, you must lose the network coverage because in reality, the network, the, I don't know, most of the people install, install this in the basement and the network, the Wi-Fi network coverage is not present there when once they close the door, Wi-Fi is dead. So this is the reason I recommend you to connect to, to cable. I like devices connected via cable because cable is cable and communication is very stable.
So this is Easy Solar Generation 2. So this is the ports and this you can find inside. Now let's gonna talk about power because I told you at the beginning of this video that Victron has three units in this uh, Easy Solar family. Basically, this is the smallest one, it's on 24 volts, can deliver you up to 240 volts. It has a transfer switch, so can let you drain from the grid through Victron around 8 kilowatts. The next one is the same at power, but they are connected to 48 volts. It's more efficient if you decide to add a bigger, uh, more storage because it's more easy to put storage in 48 volts than to put in 24 volts. Imagine that you want to put 30 kilowatts out of storage in 24 volts. You need to put all the cables in parallel and you need to have very, very a thick cable in order to connect to battery. So in 48 volts, the cable uh, diameter will be half. So I recommend you if you decide to add more storage, need to buy 48 volts is more more useful than 24 volts. But this depends on your uh, quantity of storage. But based on my experience, you must buy the biggest one because the third one is 48 volts and has 5000 VA. In reality, can deliver you up to 4000 continuous watts power. So I recommend you to go to that version because it's more easy to upgrade in the future and believe me you will want to upgrade after one year or maybe less so this is easy solar generation 2 from victron energy it's basically an all-in-one device ready to install ready to work so if you decide to go into the victron and enter into the victron family i think this is the first step i recommend you to think twice before you buy it buy the biggest one trust me on my words you want you will want to extend in the future so the biggest one will be more easy to to extend so if you have any questions and if you want to transmit us something i will be over here in the comment area below sorry again for my english i'm not a native english speaker i will try my best to explain you all this technical stuff in english we have a channel youtube channel in romanian we explain very well in romanian over there but most of you request us to make a video in english so this is our english version for easy solar uh, true from victron energy so like i told you earlier write us in the comment area what do you think about this inverter and i'm very curious from which country are you watching us so write us in the comment hello from spain hello from china hello from wherever you are we want to make some statistic of course you have youtube statistics but i want to see real statistics from real users from worldwide so if you want to see more video like this don't hesitate hit the subscribe button hit the bell in order to receive notification once we push a new video online i'm claudio i'm trying to teach you solo i hope you learned something from this video so see you in the next one bye